Okay, so I got another question in today, and this one is about retargeting, also known as remarketing. And for those of you who don't know, uh, we always use the red shoe example, which is you go on Amazon, you look at the pair of red shoes, and all of a sudden those red shoes are following you everywhere you go on the web. Whether they're on Amazon or Facebook or websites, you'll start seeing the red shoes. That's retargeting. And retargeting basically says, you've been to our site, you've been to this page, you're probably interested in this thing, we're gonna keep this in front of you for a couple of days so that you can think about making a decision for us. The question is, when is retargeting appropriate? And I've been thinking about this for the last two hours, and I gotta be honest with you, I have not come up with an example when it would not be appropriate. If your website is not important to your business, that's a good time to not use retargeting. Otherwise, you should be using it if only because it is a ridiculously cheap tactic to keep yourself in front of somebody while they're making a decision. And you spend a lot of time, effort, and energy getting somebody to your site at all. Spend a little bit more dough to stay in front of them because maybe they didn't download your white paper. Maybe they didn't sign up for a free demo, uh, but they are considering you. And so if you can stay in front of them and keep a positive brand messaging, in front of them during the time that they're making the decision, there's a higher likelihood chance that they're going to use you. Uh, so that's my answer on when retargeting is appropriate. And if you're not using it, you really should consider it because A, it's cheap, and B, it's easy to pull off. Uh, and it brings people back. So uh, thanks to Brian Snyder for being the absolute best. Uh, and uh, if you've got questions for me, email me at andy at getjigsaw.com.